Hi, this is Marcin Lopato from MIS 456, and this is my movie introducing a uh, topic of RFID technology harnessed as a solution for some of the inventory management problems. So what I'm going to talk about in my presentation is uh, what is uh, exactly RFID technology, uh, what is inventory management, and how it uses this uh, technology, and some benefits and drawbacks of using RFID. RFID is anything that uses radio frequency that needs to identify and differentiate itself from other things. The first use of RFID was developed by Air Force in 1940s to uh, segregate Allied planes from uh, the enemies. Today it is still in use by military as well as other commercial aircrafts uh, and many other devices use RFID. For example, in the case to open your car in automatic toll booth payment systems, in building access cards, so if you have a parking pass for this college, it uses this technology. It is uh, also uh, embedded in passports and payment cards. There are two different uh, types of uh, RFID tags. The primary difference between passive and active RFID tags is that active tags are powered by battery and automatically broadcast their signal, whereas passive tags do not have a power source and only transmit a signal upon receiving uh, radio frequency energy emitted from the reader in proximity of the tag. Let's look at some key differences between active and uh, passive RFID tag. Active tag is battery operated. It requires low strength of signal. It has a large range up to 100, uh, above 100 meters. Uh, it can read and write larger amount of data. Generally, it is more expensive from 15 to even $100 per tag. Uh, tag size, it will be a larger than passive tag. The best areas of use will include high volume asset moving within uh, designated areas in random and dynamic systems. An industry application will uh, that use uh, active tags will be uh, in auto dealership and manufacturing, hospitals, construction, mining, laboratories. Passive tag, uh, on the other hand, has no internal power. It requires much higher uh, signal strengths. It has it has much shorter range, uh, about three meters, can write and read uh, smaller amounts of data. Generally, it's way cheaper than uh, active tag. It's much smaller also. High volume asset moving through fixed checkpoints in definable uniform systems are best area to use passive tags. Passive tags are most successfully used in uh, application of high volume manufacturing, libraries, bookstores, pharmaceuticals in passports, electronic tools, and retail item uh, level tracking. So what is inventory management? Inventory management is the process of efficiently overseeing the constant flow of goods into and out of existing inventory. This process involves controlling the transfer of units in order to prevent stock, the stock from becoming too high or dwindling to levels that could put the operation of the company into jeopardy. Effective inventory management is all about knowing what is on hand and where it is in use. After use of pen and paper became outdated, computers aided the whole process. Until recently, barcodes were the most effective way to keep track of real-time inventory. However, nowadays the RFID technology is making its way in, into inventory management. With barcodes, you need to manually scan every single one barcode. These are prone to damage, which makes them difficult to scan. If item was missed, incorrect data would be acquired. RFID is different. It can scan many items at once, and since we don't use optical laser, no direct line of sight is needed. Also, RFID tags can be read from a distance. This translates into more accuracy and speed. The warehouse is an important supply chain entity because it acts as a buffer to minimize the effects of variability in the supply chain. RFID technology used in a warehouse allows shipments to be received automatically 
barcodes no longer would need to be scanned before storing the products and picking and shipping the products would also be easier. As a result, manufacturers can improve visibility and lower the overall inventory levels, labor costs, and safety stocks. Before now, retailers have primarily used RFID tags to track pallets of merchandise traveling through their supply chain. Item level RFID adoption represents perhaps one of the greatest near-term opportunities for business to improve operation throughout the supply chain. RFID tracking technology provides superior inventory information that can be used to improve business process throughout every link in supply chain. RFID tagging provides visibility of product movement, streamlines distribution, improves demand forecasting, and makes manufacturing more responsive. Some of the latest advantages of RFID have been demonstrated in item-level deployments at clothing retail stores. Item-level tagging where small nondescript RFID tags are typically embedded in existing apparel hang tags are helping solve retailers' challenges including out-of-stock levels, inventory accuracy, and helping customers quickly and easily find the size, style, and color they are looking for. Future looks bright for RFID. We may soon see this technology even in our kitchens. There are some manufacturers that come up with smart fridge concept that is equipped with a RFID reader, making it aware of its own content. So you don't have to have to check uh, what's left in the refrigerator before making grocery shopping list. Self-checkout is another option where merchandise is ringed up via RFID tag and contactless payments allow transaction to be completed quickly. Number one advantage of RFID tags is its efficiency. RFID tags do not require line of sight to be deciphered. They can be read through cardboard, plastic, wood, or even the human body. RFID tags can easily track moving objects and send the required information back to the reader. This eliminates human error, reduces labor, and provides quick access to a wealth of information. Another advantage of uh, RFID is its return on investment. RFID costs more to implement than barcode system, but it provides a good return on investment in the long run, since RFID is significantly more efficient. Another advantage is the fact that RFID tags are less susceptible to damage. An RFID tag is securely placed within an object or embedded in plastic enabling the system to be used in a variety of harsh environments, such as as area of high temperature or moisture, or within exposure to chemicals or the outdoors. As usual, there are some drawbacks to the system too. RFID uh, are typically more expensive than alternatives such as barcode systems. While passive tax reading is similar to and generally less expensive than barcode reading, Active tax, on the other hand, are costly due to their complexity. An active tax consists of an antenna, radio transceiver, and a microchip, increasing the overall cost of an RFID system. Tag collision and reader collision are common problems with RFID. It occurs when numerous tags are present in confined area. The RFID tag reader energizes multiple tags simultaneously, all of which reflects their signal back to the reader. This results in tag collision and the RFID reader fails to differentiate between incoming data. RFID technology gives rise to numerous security concerns. Since the system is not limited to line of sight, external and potentially malicious high-intensity directional antennas could be used to scan sensitive tags. Fraud is always a possibility when technology is used for high security operations, such as payment verification. For score model activity, I'm using level 3 processes, which are processes, steps that are performed in order to plan supply chain activities, source materials, make products, deliver goods and services, and handle product returns. Activity D4.3, which is pick 
product from backroom. And this activity includes retrieving restocking orders to pick, determine available inventory, and transfer products from backroom to the point of stock and record a transaction. The metrics include uh, inventory's inaccuracy during pickup, safety stock, and labor saving. So some improvements uh, by using uh, RFID would be a backroom automatic update integrated with manufacturer's ERP that would provide him with accurate sales informa information. And then again, on-demand product nearing expiry day could be sold off first. RFID provides a warehouse with improved, improved visibility and also item level tagging can provide accurate point of sale data. Again, activity as uh, D4.2, which is receive product at store, uh, could be improved by implementing a um, RFID technology. The activities include receive product and verify, record received product, determine location where the product is to be kept and place it. And the metrics are a number of restocking per day, accuracy of restocking. And how to trace it, we could get product information in lines in less time and uh, would also uh, get uh, automated product receiving and verification in store by implementing RFID. Thank you for watching and I hope you will have some questions for me later.